Hey everyone, this is Nemo and welcome to another awesome video tutorial. So today we will see how to install and configure the Lightspeed Cache module for PrestaShop and 30Bs. Now, what is Lightspeed in the first place? Well, as the name kind of suggests, it's a very fast software that runs instead of Apache or Nginx on your server, just to name a few. And uh, by default, uh, most of the servers are Apache, but uh, a few hostings now are starting to offer the Lightspeed option as well, which is quite good. And A2 is one of them, A2 hosting. So how can I find out if my site is, uh, my server is running Lightspeed? Well, in case you're running PrestaShop or 30Bs, you can just hit F12 and in the Network tab, uh, like highlighting the network tab, I will refresh the page and uh, the document itself is sending the headers with the server type. In this case, you can see it's reading light speed. So it's uh, really easy to find out if you don't know. And if you, you're not uh, running light speed, you're running a patch instead, you can just ask your hosting and see if this option is available on uh, your plan. Now, the module itself is free, and you can find it at uh, github.com slash lightspeedtech slash lscache underscore prestashop, but in any case, you should be able to see the address right now on screen. And as I said, it's free, so what you can do is click on releases, then source code, and download it wherever you prefer. Now there's something to notice about this, the uh, the file itself and the folder you will find is not following the, the naming convention that you need for PrestaShop and 30 bs So what you have to do is reach out the folder where you downloaded the, the pack, <clears throat> excuse me, the package. Just refresh it and it's ls cache press the shop. So I'll open it up and this, as you might know, needs to have the same name of the main PHP file of the module. So Lightspeed Cache is the name. I will rename it to Lightspeed Cache. All right, so this should be good to go. Now I will go back to my uh, 30Bs in this case, but again, it works with press the shop as well. And I will add a new module from here and then I will choose my zip file. Great, so just let's just go ahead and install it. Good, okay, so now before proceeding, in case you didn't check if the server was light speed, the module conveniently tell us tells us that uh, this um, feature is not supported in the current environment so you can check with your system admin in case you don't now let's go back to our page and really all we need to do is just turn on the module and save so if I now refresh I will actually hard refresh here the way to check if it's actually working is by clicking again on this document and you will see some new headers. You can see X Lightspeed Cache, it's reading miss because this is the very first load after we enable the feature. So if I refresh again and I click, you now see X Lightspeed Cache hit. So this tells us the the page that's currently being loaded has hit the Lightspeed cache entry. So this is now being served from the Lightspeed cache. Now let's go back to see a few uh, configuration options. We have the cache time after which it will be refreshed, both public and private. Then uh, we have a separate entry for the 404 pages and the home page. We can choose if you want a separate mobile view and if we want to separate the cache 
by customer group. Of course, you can off we can also um, enable guest mode, so guests can have a different cache from subscribed customers. Then we have a few more advanced rules. We can choose to to not cache the page if it contains um, specific get variables or some that are in the blacklist. At the very bottom, we can set up a testing environment. Uh, if in case you're a developer, you will know what to do with this. But I suggest for the average user to just leave the options as they are. Just make sure you enable Lightspeed Cache and then you test again by seeing if the Lightspeed Cache is hit or miss. Let's just see if it works on the product page. So the first one, first load should be miss and it is. So if I do refresh now, it's gonna be hit. Great. Okay, so this is everything for today's video. I hope you found it useful and if you did, please subscribe to the channel and follow the blog at nemops.com for other great PrestaShop and 30Bs tutorials and tips. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.